hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so so far we have discussed uh, various things various concepts related to uh, vector quantities about uh, the representation the concept of unit vectors position vectors displacement vectors so in this video we are going to discuss some more points on uh, vectors so the first uh, thing that uh, we'll discuss is the concept of equal vectors when can we say that one vector is exactly identical or equal to another vector so two vectors they are called or they are equal okay they are said to be equal if this satisfies certain condition they have the same magnitude and they are in the same the point in the same direction okay so two vectors in order to be same they should have the same magnitude and they should be in the same direction Okay. So in all of these cases the magnitude is the same and the direction is also same they are directed in the same direction ok so that is what is two vectors are equal their tail and head they start and end at the same point they have the same magnitude and direction so the next concept which we are going to discuss is the negative of a vector okay so a vector it is uh, said to be negative of any given vector of a particular vector if it has the same magnitude both the vectors are of equal magnitude but they are in the opposite direction okay they are in the opposite direction okay so suppose we have a vector this a vector and we have another vector this b vector here a vector and b vector they have equal magnitude okay but this is the opposite of a vector b vector is the opposite of a vector minus this minus sign okay this minus sign similarly this and this okay 
this and this they are all the same particular vector x this is the negative of that vector the vector y vector this is the negative of that they are they have the same magnitude their magnitude is the same the absolute the modulus of both the vectors will be the same but they will be in exactly opposite directions they will be oriented in opposite directions so this is the concept of negative of a vector now if two opposite vectors means a vector is added with its negative or the negative of the vector then it will give us a zero vector okay it will be is a zero vector this is called as a zero vector it is called as also called as null vector null vector or zero vector this zero vector has zero magnitude okay that's why it is represented by this zero and a vector sign on top of it so when any given vector is added with its negative the negative of that vector this gives us a zero vector also if we multiply okay if we multiply any given vector with zero this will also give us a zero vector okay there are two ways through which we can get a zero vector first any given vector is added with its negative and if we multiply zero with any vector okay the uh, examples of zero vector are the position vector for origin okay at uh, the point of origin it is zero i cap the zero j cap zero k cap all the components are zero also for a stationary object the velocity vector is a zero vector because it is stationary no velocity no displacement so no dis uh, velocity it is also a zero vector also the acceleration vector for a con uh, object moving with uniform velocity that is also a zero vector so these are all examples of zero vectors okay